Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. April 17th, 2021. The words we receive from God. A commentary on verse 37 from Surah Al Baqarah by Shaykh Muhammad Fawzi Al Karkari, Qaddas Allah Sirra. The verse reads Then Adam received certain words from his Lord. And he relented to him. Truly, he is the relenting, the merciful. فَتَلَقَّى آدَمُ مِنْ رَبِّهِ كَلِمَاتٍ فَتَابَ عَلَيْهِ إِنَّهُ هُوَ التَّوَّابُ الرَّحِيمُ The Shaykh comments. These were the words of repentance, of tawbah. When God discloses himself to you, in the name of a tawab the relenting or the acceptor of repentance and the name ar-rahim the merciful he also sends down certain words into your heart but what were the words that adam received from his lord if we consider how adam received the names which we know are the names of god and presented them to the angels we can answer this question you may imagine what they could have been, but as long as they are left unsaid, we ought to leave it that way. Some say that it was the formula of forgiveness. Astaghfirullah al-Azim al-Ladhi la ilaha illa hu wa atubu ilayh. I ask forgiveness of God, the Magnificent, besides whom there is no God, and I repent to Him. Others say that it was the formula of Tawheed, Divine Oneness. La ilaha illallah, wahdahu la sharika la. There's no God but God, alone, without partner. Because he wronged himself by setting himself up as partner to God. Inasmuch as he acted on his own volition instead of obeying God's command. And so he had to return from this by proclaiming God's oneness. Still others say that it refers to the word of God revealed to his heart as the Quran was revealed to us in any case what it means is that he remembered God and so was lifted back up after falling we say that it means the Quran for even if the sea were transformed into ink the words of God which are the Quran would not be exhausted they must have been the words of God for he received them from God. Just as God spoke to Moses, he spoke to Adam. So when you sin, you should look for the words that God presents to you and use them to repent to him. This is what matters, not a comment about what exactly the words Adam received were. If you sinned in the morning and feel true regret and remorse in the afternoon, the words will come to you, and God will relent to you. He will accept your repentance. He will turn to you by you turning to Him in repentance. But this will not happen if you sin and forget all about it. This is not a matter of collecting all the phrases of repentance that one could possibly say since they are beyond counting. It's a secret between the servant and the Lord. Ask your own heart and see what you find there. Sometimes a person might say that he preached to people and managed to convince them to repent because they were moved by certain words that he said, as though he had an impact on them. But in reality, you did not do anything. It was only that God helped you by inspiring you to say words from God that had already moved the hearts of those people, and they heard them from God, not from you. What you ought to do is ask who it was that had an impact on you. If you say that no one has had any impact on you, then consider where the inspiration came from. Are you like Adam? who received his knowledge directly from God? Did you learn the names of God? 
Did he transmit them to you and make you a qibla to which the angels bowed down? Of course not. So stay where God has placed you and do not be proud. If you examined yourself and the eye of your heart opened, you would find yourself mired in sin without realizing it. So people come back to me and tell their stories and say, Praise God, look at how we used to be. And then God relented to us. He accepted our repentance. I asked them how this was. You used to be devoted to this or that sin, far from God, but now you're near to Him. How did this happen? They tell me that something had an impact on them. A verse of the Qur'an or a hadith of the Prophet A person may have been hearing the Qur'an all the time, but it was one particular verse that impacted him. And this verse was like a ship that carried him upwards to the presence of God. The one who was impacted by a certain hadith may have heard many other hadiths, or even preached them himself. But this particular one had an impact on him, as if it were new and fresh from God. Another person might hear something that is neither a hadith nor a verse of the Qur'an, but merely a simple turn of phrase that reveals to him the truth of the Qur'an or the hadith, a branch from the source that impacts his heart and changes it. What this tells us is that when God relents to a person who turns to him in repentance, he does so by disclosing himself to him as a tawab, as the oft turning in repentance or the relenting, the forgiving, through those words that he hears. It makes no difference whether he hears them from you or from someone else. They impact his heart and function as a door to ascension towards God. When he receives those words, God relents to him. He does not receive them from you or me or anyone else but God. You may say that he heard them from Sheikh so-and-so, but many other people heard the same words and did not react to them as he did because he heard them through God's hearing, while others heard them only through their own hearing and so were not impacted by them. So it was for Adam alayhi salatu wasalam, and so it must be for you. After we fall from a high to a low place, we must look within ourselves and find a way out through repentance. The only way to repent is to recognize that you are a sinner. You cannot repent if you already think that you've already repented, that you're a person of knowledge. Often nowadays you hear someone tell someone else to fear God and he replies, Why should I? What have I done? Even when someone proclaims, Dear God, make us among those who fear you. These are only words, as if he were singing a song. He doesn't look within himself and ask why someone told him to fear God. Perhaps it was a sign from God that he's on the wrong path. If he did, he would feel regret and sorrow and reflect on his shortcomings before God. He would say these words sincerely and they would be words from God. اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما صليت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما باركت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد